Archer, middleweight champion of the world, takes on the number one middleweight contender, Joey Archer. But first, let's take a look at a teenage Ray Robinson as a Golden Gloves featherweight in 1939. Who would believe that the string bean looking boy in white trunks will go on to become the greatest fighter pound for pound of all time? Ray is in there against Louis Valentine in dark trunks in the finals of the featherweight division of the 1939 Golden Gloves. Ray wins the featherweight championship in 1939 as an amateur. It's now the night of November 10th, 1965, 25 years later, and Ray Robinson in white trunks prepares to meet the number one middleweight contender, tough Joey Archer. Archer is wearing dark trunks. Ray Robinson comes out from the left in the white trunks for round one. Robinson began his ring career professionally in 1940, 25 years ago. In 201 professional fights, he has won 184, 109 of these by knockout. A magnificent record. Ray won the middleweight championship of the world in February 1951, 14 years ago, when he KO'd the tough Jake LaMotta in the 13th round. In the years that followed, Ray was to lose and then regain the world middleweight title five times. In spectacular victories, Ray defeated the greatest fighters of his era, Randy Turpin, Carl Bobo Olsen, Gene Fulmer, and Carmen Basilio. In January of 1960, a 40-year-old Ray Robinson lost the world title to a young, strong Paul Pender in Boston. Now here's Ray Robinson still giving his all, but Joey Archer in dark trunks looks too strong, too young for the former champion. Unbelievably, Ray is giving away 18 years to the younger Joey Archer, the number one contender for the middleweight championship. Archer began his ring career professionally in 1956, nine years ago. Joe has had 45 fights to his credit, including impressive victories over Jose Gonzalez, Don Fulmer, and Mick Leahy. classic stand-up boxing style. Archer sticking in that left jab. A solid flurry by both fighters. won round two with accurate left jabs. Archer came back to win round three. Here in round four, it's still very close. Tonight's fight is Robinson's 15th fight this year. In his last fight, just two weeks ago, Ray knocked out Rudolph Brent in the third round in Steubenville, Ohio. Ray has made it known that he plans to retire from the ring in the near future. The outcome of tonight's fight will certainly have a bearing on his final decision. Before turning professional, Ray climaxed a brilliant amateur career by winning the 1940 Golden Glove lightweight title. In 85 amateur bouts, Ray scored 69 knockouts, 40 of them in the first round. The referee separates the two fighters. Archer boxing smartly here in round four. A dynamite right sends Robinson to the canvas. Ray is taking the count as Archer stands in a neutral corner. In slow motion, let's watch that right hand bomb by Joey Archer. Joey circling. 
Now that dynamite right to the jaw, and down goes Sugar Ray. Archer turns to go to a neutral quarter as the referee picks up the count. This is a new experience for the great Sugar Ray Robinson. Ray is up at the count of nine and Archer moves in. Joey Archer wants to finish it here in round four. 